How to Submit a Beneficiary Form This video will walk you through the steps of how to complete the e-form for your beneficiary designation. This form allows you to designate a person to receive the applicable benefit payment upon your death. The beneficiary e-form can be updated anytime and the most recent form will override any previous one. After logging into IRIS with your NetID and password, Go to the menu bar and select Employee Self-Service. You will then be directed to a new page. In the second section down, select the heading Personal Information. The section expands to show multiple categories that you can update. Select the Beneficiary Electronic Form option. It will open a new window labeled Beneficiary eForm. To begin, scroll down to the Employee Information section and make sure that all the fields containing your personal information are correct. The following fields are required to be filled out for your primary beneficiary before you can add additional beneficiaries or submit your form. The beneficiary's name, their birth date, relationship status to yourself, their full address and phone number. The beneficiary's social security number is not required, but it is preferred. If the beneficiary is a legal adult under the care of a guardian or a conservator, you will need to select the box to the right of their birth date. Ensure you fill out the information for the guardian of the selected adult in the section below the beneficiary's information. If the beneficiary is a minor, you only need to fill in their name, date of birth, and relationship status to yourself. The rest of the fields will need to be completed with the information of their guardian. After reviewing the primary beneficiary's information to verify accuracy, you can either submit your form or add additional beneficiaries. To add beneficiaries, start by going to the Beneficiary 1 tab. You will follow the same process of filling out the additional person's information. At this point, you will have to select if they are contingent or co-beneficiary. A co-beneficiary receives equal shares of the survivor benefit with the primary beneficiary. A contingent beneficiary receives survivor benefits only if the primary beneficiary cannot or will not accept the benefit. You can opt out of designating a beneficiary. However, if you do that, no one will receive the applicable benefit payment upon your death. To opt out, click the box next to the statement, I do not wish to designate a beneficiary above your employee information. Once you have filled out the required fields for the number of beneficiaries you wish to add or have opted out, you will need to electronically sign the form by selecting the box under Electronic Signature. To submit your beneficiary form, scroll up to the top of the screen and click Submit on the menu bar. A window will pop up on your screen asking you to confirm your submission or allow you to go back and make further changes. Once you feel the information is accurate, click Yes. Another window will appear that indicates your designation of beneficiary has successfully been submitted. You have now completed the e-form for the beneficiary designation and you can close your browser at this time. Thank you for watching this video on how to complete a designation of beneficiary form. If you have any further questions, you can contact Facility Services, Human Resources, or Campus Employee Relations.